Hello and welcome to Modelling Misadventures. Now today is the 20th of July 2021 and that is the 52nd anniversary of the Apollo moon landings. But it's also another very significant date in space history because today will be the very first flight of the Blue Origin New Shepard rocket with passengers aboard. This rocket is going to carry Jeff Bezos and three other civilians into space on a suborbital flight. Now to commemorate this historic space flight, I'm gonna make a model of the New Shepard. So I'm gonna print it on my 3D printer and make it in 1 60th scale. So this is the start of the Blue Origin New Shepard rocket. So I've actually got all the parts printed out now. Didn't take very long. And they're all in this box. You see there's the rocket itself. Got various other parts. The top of the rocket. The bottom of the rocket. And various other bits and pieces here, which we'll start to glue together. And see what it looks like at the end. I've laid all the parts out and you can see there's quite a few of them, even though it's a small rocket. They've all been 3D printed in white, uh, grey and black PLA. And uh, all you need to do is glue it together with super glue. So the first part is to glue these little lockdown arms on this launch pad here. There we are. Next, we've got to fasten this joining bracket here, which will fasten the main body of the rocket to the bottom. And then we'll just glue the bottom of the rocket onto here. Now the new Shepard rocket actually comes back into land after it's launched the space capsule into space and it has uh, four landing legs which it uh, puts out just before coming to land. So uh, this model actually has functional landing legs. I'm going to glue them together. I'm not sure how they're going to come out but um, we'll, we'll have a go. Right, got all four of those in and the next is to fabricate some legs. Now this is the first part of the landing legs and it has to go in here. There's actually two little holes been printed inside there and this has to go in there and twist around. And it's very fiddly to get it in. I had to uh, press it in with a pair of tweezers. But when it goes in, it actually looks pretty good. You can see I've put one in here and it comes out quite nicely. All right, that's all four in and they work pretty well. Now I've got the same thing to do with these pieces and they go in here a little bit farther up, but they're a bit easier to get in. And uh, again, there's two little holes and you can just twist them in like that. Well, there's the landing legs so far. Now the next stage is we've got to put these little outer covers on and um, we have to remove this support part first before we glue them on to the end of there. Well, again, these are a bit tricky to get on, but they actually work quite well. You can see that the legs are in the retracted position and then in the extended position. Now the retractable landing legs have these little feet at the bottom and these are just made out of some uh, 3D printing filament.
Well, that's actually looking pretty good, I think. And these legs, they are fairly functional. They go in and out quite nicely. And there it is with the landing legs retracted. And that is really nice. Uh, they come in and out really well. So next up is the uh, engine nozzle. So there's the engine nozzle on. And next up is these stabilization fins which go on at the bottom of the rocket. Look how good that is looking. I'm impressed so far with this rocket. Now this part of the rocket goes on at the top and on the real rocket these uh, are some stabilization flaps that come out when the rocket is descending and I think they slow it down and keep it stable as it's falling back down towards the ground. They don't do anything on this one but that's now going to get glued onto the top of the rocket. And that's what that looks like. There's a little grey rod to go in here. Now the top of the rocket has this structure in it, which just sits in there. Now the last part of this um, rocket is these little lugs that are just um, fastened on the top here and these are to engage with the capsule that's going to sit on top. So that's the bottom part of the rocket finished. And now the next stage is to move on to the capsule. Okay the first part of this uh, space capsule is the hatch and it's just got a door and a little bit of silver trim around the edge so I'm just going to glue those two together. That's the uh, hatch for the space capsule done. If you watch the launch you would remember seeing uh, Jeff Bezos and the other passengers climbing in through that to get into their seats. So here's the space capsule and the hatch goes in here. There we are. Can you imagine climbing in through that and taking a ride on this thing? Now there was a lot of talk about the big windows on the new Shepard capsule. You can see they are quite big and they come with these little window frames which get glued on there. Now the kit doesn't suggest that you put any type of window in there, it just leaves it open but I'm actually going to put some acetate sheet behind there to make the windows look a little bit more realistic. So there's the space capsule with its windows in, come out quite nice. And now we're going to fasten on a little cap onto the top. And the real one, that is where the parachutes would be. So this is the interior of the space capsule. This is the floor and in the center, um, it's got this thing here which is actually a little rocket engine that the space capsule has. And on the top of that there's this little circular cap. Let's put a drop of glue on there and pop this on. That needs to be painted blue. Now this space capsule had six seats in for six passengers and they go uh, arranged around in a circle. I'm going to start doing them on just like that. So there it is, the interior of the space capsule with the, the six seats on it. 
Next we have the base of the space capsule and that's going to be glued on there. Well that completes the space capsule and that just clips on there like that and there we have it. The New Shepard space capsule. I'm just going to put that on top of the rocket and the construction is finished. So this is what we've ended up with. It was actually a very simple model to make and you can make it actually pretty quickly in just a, a few hours. And it looks um, very realistic. You can see the capsule comes off the top uh, and you can even uh, have a look inside the capsule. And as I showed earlier, these landing legs come down. But what the model doesn't come with is any decals or markings. So I'm going to make my own using the Cricut machine and I'm going to cut out some vinyl stickers and put them on the side. Now there's two types of stickers I'm going to do. Um, there are some blue ones which say blue origin and I'm going to print those out in blue vinyl. But this rocket also had a black feather that went up the side of it and in order to make that I'm going to have to print that feather onto some printable vinyl and then peel it off and stick it on up the side. So I'll do the blue um, blue origin logo first and then I'll have to do the feather uh, separately. So as I've shown in previous videos I've uploaded the blue origin logo into the Cricut Design Space. I've uh, made it the appropriate size and then I'm now transferring it to the Cricut Maker. So we'll press the start button and it should start cutting out the logo. Now this is just a test run to make sure it's the right size. Uh, if it's not, I can uh, resize it and print it again, but we'll see how this comes out in a minute or two. Now I hope you can see that, but you can see it's cut the blue origin letters now we're going to um, transfer that onto the model just using some transfer tape. And that's the letters on the transfer tape. Now we'll see if we can get it on the rocket. Well, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Right, just do the rest of the decals. So now I'm going to have a go at printing this feather. So I've got the feather logo off the internet and I've uploaded it into the Cricut Design Space. You can see it there. So in this case, the machine isn't going to just cut out the shape of the feather on some black vinyl. It's actually going to print it out on vinyl and then cut it. And in order to do that, you need some special printable vinyl that will go through an inkjet printer. And the Cricut software will talk directly with the printer. So it will print straight from here onto the vinyl that you put in it. And now it's just cutting out the feather from this printable vinyl. Well, here it is, the Blue Origin New Shepherd rocket. And with all the logos on, Blue Origin, the black feather goes up the side. So it's a lovely little rocket. And um, the launch profile of this rocket is that it takes off um, with this single rocket engine here. Uh, when it reaches maximum altitude, the space capsule separates and coasts into space for a short period of time. The rocket falls back to Earth and these veins come out which slow it down and control it. And as it's getting close to the ground, the landing gear is extended. The rocket motor is restarted and it comes in 
for a soft landing on the earth. Now while the rocket's doing that, the capsule is falling back to earth and then three drogue parachutes come out and then three main parachutes come out and this space capsule gradually comes down to earth and just before it hits the ground it blasts another rocket just to slow the fall and there it is mission complete so i'm really happy with how this uh, project has turned out i think it looks really nice And if you want to make this rocket, then you need to look up online Amphioxus. And this is a website that um, makes lots of different files for different rockets. All of the rockets through the space age, you can find on that website. So I strongly encourage you to go and have a look at Amphioxus and you'll find all the rockets on Colts 3D. So with that, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.